In just two days, West Australians will be hit with a raft of increases to fees and charges. From July 1, payments to seniors will also be cut. However, WA politicians will see a boost to their pay packets. Mark Armstrong's got a big family to look after with seven people under his roof. Someone's car gets broken down, we all chip in. If someone has to pay a bill, we all chip in. The Craigie dad's a full-time carer for two of his sons, but from Tuesday, life will be made a little harder when fees and charges go up. The average power bill will rise by just under $63 a year, a 4.5% increase. Yearly water bills will go up by about $84, a rise of 6%. The comforting thing about those increases in prices is that people in Western Australia still pay far less than any other mainland state or territory. There's no longer concessions for car registrations, which will cost an extra $63 this year. Public transport fares will cost the average commuter an extra $39 this year, and free parking at train stations has been scrapped and will cost $2 a day. What Mr Barnett has certainly done in budget after budget is look to extract more revenue than ever uh, from Western Australian households. Seniors will see cuts to their cost of living rebate, singles will lose $81, couples $122. But politicians will be better off with a $5,500 pay rise. Plus all the perks he gets, plus this and that and the other. No, nah, it's just not right, it's not fair. But they won't be handing it back. I could, uh, but I'm not going to. The vast majority of mine will be going to my mortgage. Josh Yerger, Nine News.